Hello, it's Jay here again and welcome to another tutorial. So, in this lesson, we are going to do something a little bit different. We're not actually going to do any coding, but we're just going to fix a few things that will eliminate the red errors that we have in the console. Now, I say we're going to do no scripting, but I actually noticed two mistakes in my play one movement script and the first one is here controller dead zone and it's the negative and that should have been minus 0.1 f now we'll just save that off and we're also going to come down to standard movement function and we also have a mistake here in the second if block and this should be player walk right not left so we'll go ahead and change that as well and we'll paste in the comments and we'll save that off <clears throat> now a little thing to be aware of because this is a public float the controller dead zone negative it will not automatically change in the script unless you reset it otherwise you'll have to go and type this in so i apologize for that but um, even the best of us can uh, make mistakes when we're in a hurry and uh, I just overlooked two little things there. So let's have a look at my characters now. As you can see I have 16 characters and I've assigned the character controller and player one movement script. I've also assigned all the animations as well. So let's just come back to resources and as you can see I've also created alter alternative versions of each colour. And this is for when the computer loads in a character that has the same colour as the player one. It will load, load in the alternative and as you can see I've used blue robot alt because that's the naming convention I used in the opponent manager. Now, if you're going to do this the same as me, I will advise for the characters, do not assign. And I'll come into my texture mods. These are the alternative textures and I recommend to do this on each and every character to be quite honest, not just the alternatives, but do not assign these direct to the actual model. Instead, create a material and I've kept for the most part the same base texture and the normal map i have changed the base on a few characters just so the colors blend a little bit easier it's this one that i've changed on my characters this lower one and if i come to the brown there you go you can see same base same normal map but i've changed this texture and then assign the material to the model and this will eliminate any problems when you assign a new texture to a character and it ends up being applied to all of them or at least some of them so by creating materials that's how we can alleviate that problem so with that said let's come to our scenes and in the scenes we have the fight intro script we also need some audio sounds now i've created these myself 
using text to mp3 converters and then I've experimented in Audacity to get a robot like voice and the reason for this is because I'm using robots in my script so the actual clips will be different for each and every one of you you could probably hunt around and find audio clips pre-made that's how I did it but there's already plenty of tutorials out there on audacity so I do recommend you know either finding some clips that suit your project that are already made or experimenting for yourself but I'm just going to go ahead and assign those now we can actually come back to the splash screen remembering to save at this moment we also need to come to project settings and import and I'm going to right click on fire 3 and I'm going to duplicate that array I'm going to change this to fire 4 and in fact we can get rid of the alt positive and the positive button I'm going to change to joystick button 3 and you can actually do this on all the ones now which joystick button should it be well it's always one less than the fire so for fire three it becomes joystick button two and let's go ahead and change this one to joystick button one and fire one can become joystick button zero now this is all lowercase with the spaces so if you have any problems with the input just be aware of that and we will come to the console and bear with me one moment while I plug in my joypad and then we can actually begin to test out the game so let's plug in the joypad as you can see it's connected so we'll just clear that and then we'll hit play so we'll just wait for this to cycle through i haven't yet had chance to experiment and find better fade values but i will do that so we can actually make this process quicker in future videos when we're testing so i'll select one player we'll let that fade out i'll just select the first character so as you can see the first character is the black robot and is playing his idle animation quite nicely now we do have a little bit of problem here when switching characters and that's because the player is also trying to move at the same time but we are going to fix that and all these fixes will be coming in the following lessons before we continue on creating new functions for the game but as you can see it looks quite nice the characters are at least loaded in as they should and we'll have some code as i say to disable input during this particular moment but for now let's just Round one. Fight. so as you can see the player character and the opponent have loaded in the text has faded in and faded out along with the sound effects and the player can actually move so we do seem to have a little bit of an issue with the player movement but we are going to fix that in the coming videos like i said all these fixes are coming but let's just test out these buttons so as you can see all the actual kicks and punches are working now um a little problem as it's also applying to the opponent as well but again that we will disable that in the coming lessons but we have no red errors and that was the crucial thing for this video i'm just gonna let it run through again was to fix the errors and then we'll actually start to fix all the little problems that 
is actually in the game that is not showing an error. So that was the point of this video. Let's just fix the red errors, which we've done. In the next, probably, maybe two lessons it may take. Um, don't take me as um, as a definite Don't on that. Um, but I think it will probably take two, maybe three lessons to go ahead and fix all these things. But that is coming. Round one. And we also have, like I said, don't worry about the player movement. The player movement is it's working, but it's not great. So we seem to have a problem with the player's animation there. And I am going to speed up these movements, I think. I think they're a little slow. Um, that kick isn't bad, but these... That other kick and the punches, the animations are a little bit too slow. So again, I'm going to show you how to um, increase the speed of those. And I think we'll leave it here for this video. And we'll pick this up, polishing up all these other little problems in the very next lesson. So a little bit different for today, but still I hope you enjoyed it. I hope to see you next time. And until then, as always, bye for now.